Hi guys! Today I am joined with Puddles, and Puddles is an African pygmy hedgehog. None of you guys have met Puddles before because he came to us in February. And when we get our animals, we put them in a quarantine for a few weeks just to make sure that they're healthy and that they're not going to spread any diseases to any of our other animals. And Puddles came out of quarantine right as we were entering ours. Most pet hedgehogs are African pygmy hedgehogs, but there are other hedgehog species that live in Europe and then also Asia. They are most closely related to moles and shrews. Um, although they kind of look like porcupines because they both have quills, they are not related to porcupines at all. African pygmy hedgehogs have about 5,000 to 7,000 quills on their back. This is their main means of protection, so when they get scared, they roll up into a ball and they kind of stick their quills up so they're nice and spiky, and it makes animals less likely to want to eat them. These quills contain pockets of air that make them stronger and less likely to break, and then it also helps insulate their falls. So if they're in a ball and they roll off of something, they stay a lot safer because they have their quills to protect them. These guys are nocturnal, which means that they spend most of their days sleeping and then are active at nighttime. So they don't have very good eyesight. Um, they have pretty sensitive eyes to light. They obviously prefer the dark. And um, they have super good hearing and a super good sense of smell to make up for this lack of vision. These guys, as I mentioned earlier, are from Africa, so they like the temperatures to be a little bit warmer in their enclosure. They like it to be about 70 to 80 degrees. So if you get a pet hedgehog, you should get a heat lamp or a heat pad to keep their enclosure nice and toasty warm. Hedgehogs are solitary animals, which means that they like to live alone, except during the mating season. And these guys will have um, litters of about two to 10 hoglets, which are baby hedgehogs and they can have these litters multiple times a year. When the hoglets are born, they actually have quills. Um, their skin is just really swollen and puffy, so it kind of protects those quills and then protects the mom when she's giving birth to them. These guys mainly eat insects, but they actually eat a lot of other food. They are resistant to venom, so they can actually eat venomous snakes and also venomous arthropods like scorpions. We feed these guys mainly a special kibble that's made for hedgehogs, but then we also feed them mealworms, and sometimes she gets um, some soft fruits like bananas. These guys are exotic pets, and it's actually illegal to own them in some states. However, in Connecticut, it's legal to own a hedgehog. If you get a hedgehog, they're pretty low maintenance pets. They live four to six years. Um, but hedgehog temperaments varies from animal to animal, so some of them can be very shy and oftentimes a little grumpy, especially if you don't handle them a lot. It's important that you give them large enclosures, um, that you make sure that the temperature is up nice and warm for them, um, and then that they have a wheel to play on. So during the nighttime, they are very active and they need lots of exercise, so a wheel with a solid bottom, not a wire one, um, it's really important for these guys because they have little teeny tiny feet and toes and they can hurt them if you have a wire wheel. They also need a place to hide. Like I said, they're pretty light sensitive and they like to burrow and kind of stay undercover. You also need to wash these guys once a month. They need to take a bath in warm water with a animal safe soap and then you brush them with a toothbrush to keep them clean. So that's pretty much it about my friend Puddles. I hope you learned a thing or two about our African pygmy hedgehog and I hope to see you guys again soon.